Okay, what's going on, you guys? We are like a little over 30 days away at this point from OP final order at on Target Paintball in New Jersey. Uh, so get your tickets. We did change some things up with registration, which I'm going to go through here. It's a platoon registration uh, set up to keep things a little bit more organized and also be more organized with your leadership. So if you go to our website here, um, it's on the home page. Just scroll straight down. OP final order. They're $80 a piece, but that $80 doesn't include camping. So um, very easily, you guys can get set up for that. Um, unlike the other events, you have to pay uh, for that additionally. So you're just going to pick where you want to go here. You're going to pick tan team or green team, either your global alliance or your extremist. You're going to pick first, second, or third platoon. You know, same thing for green, first, second, or third platoon. We do have platoon leaders this time around. Uh, for each platoon, they are already assigned. On the uh, tan side of things, we've got the guys from SSU Airsoft, which that's their home field is OTP. On the green side, we've got uh, One Legion uh, Milsem. So those guys will be uh, running the leadership roles for the event. Um, you can sign up, uh, pick your patches here. Of course, this is all optional, but if you want a patch for your team or event patch and do that, if you want a dead rag with the map on the back, you can do that as well. So you just click those, hit attend, sign up for it. It's that simple. So I'm not going to go through the exact description of this, but what I do want to go through is the rules list, just like I did for OP Summit Thunder, if I can get this to kind of match up on my screen here. Good Lord. Okay, so here's our cover page. I'm going to run through the rules list, you guys. That way you understand what we're, what we're looking at here. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I try to be very responsive via email, Facebook, Instagram. If you guys reach out to me, Give me a little bit of time, but I try to reach out to everybody within like an hour. Um, so just let me know. My phone number, if anyone wants to get hold of me, is on our Google business listing. It's on our Facebook. Um, it's on the website. So if you need to call me with any questions, feel free to do that. Um, I'm available. I mean, pretty much any time, really. Um, but anyways, uh, let's get uh, going down through this. Um, so again, here's the overview. I'm not going to read every word. You guys can read that for yourselves. The event timeline, 10 o'clock, player arrival, vendors open. Again, if you're camping out there, it's 10 camping only. If you want an RV camp, you can do that, but it is an additional fee. I am not handling camping for this event. So last event I did, the next event in September I am, I'm not handling camping for this. This is going straight through OTP. You don't have to call them if you're just tent camping. If you're just tent camping, you're good. Just show up. It's including you for in your ticket. If you want an RV camp, you need to call them so they can set aside a spot, and there is an additional fee. I don't know what that is. I don't. I, I, I honestly have no idea. Um, if I did, I would tell you. I don't know what it is. You're going to have to call OTP. Um, 11 o'clock, registration will open. Chrono will probably open. It says 11.30 here, but it'll probably open at the same time. Uh, registration at Chrono, Chrono will close at 2. 2.15 is going to be uh, event safety brief. Everyone needs to attend that. We're not going to do an early safety brief like we did for the last event. The only safety brief is on Saturday. Everyone needs to attend that. Uh, players are going to head out to starting points. Uh, each team is going to have their own flag. The refs will take you out to your starting points. So make sure you're ready to go when I call players to come up at 1445 to go out to their starting points. Make sure you're ready to go. Have all your gear with you. Got your goggles, replica, whatever you're taking on the field. Make sure you got it on you as you're going from there. At 1500, we do our very best to start the game exactly when we say we are. So at 1500, in other words, 3 p.m., um, it's game on. Gameplay is going to run until 2 a.m. This is a nonstop event. If you want to come off the field for a drink or food or to take a break, you can do that. You can leave whenever you want. Um, you can come on whenever you want, but the game never stops. So the objectives can still be captured. Points will change. Points are still accumulating all throughout the event. So just be aware of that. Um, try not to arrive before 10 a.m. on Saturday, um, and then try to leave the field if you're camping by 10 a.m. on Sunday. So basically we have a 24-hour window, 10 a.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. Sunday. They will be open Sunday for Airsoft walk-on. So if you wanted to play on Sunday for their walk-on play, you can also do that. Um, they will be open. Okay, so let's let's get on down here. So basically, capturing the objectives, um, green team will have a green flag. Tan team will have a tan flag. It's actually orange, but that's your tan flag. Um, there will be five of these spread out across the map. I will show you guys the event map. If you don't know where they are, check out the event map. Where the special symbols are, there will be a flag right there in that general area. Um, so there's a total of five. If you want to capture that area or that flag, your team's colored flag need to be flying. Every hour on the hour, we're going to check who owns what flags. They're worth 2,000 points an hour. 
per objective. Um, there's going to be five green ammo cans. These ammo cans can be taken by Vestige of Humanity or Bastion Endurance. Either team can take these. These are green ammo cans. Just a standard little ammo can. You go to Harbor Fright and you see the little ammo cans and carry like pistol ammo in. That's what they are. They're just a small ammo can. There's five of them. Each and every single one of these ammo cans is going to be worth points. Okay. Inside of these is going to be food, water, water, clothing, uh, weapons, medicine, things of that nature for the event. Now, in reality, what's really going to be inside of them is going to be replicas, um, BBs, speed loaders, X fogs. Um, and then the other big thing is there's going to be kill streaks in them. So the kill streaks, you get two options depending on which can you open. We'll have different ones in it. But the two main ones is an airstrike and is a troop um, insertion. So the airstrike, your team platoon leader, one of your platoon leaders will pick a grid square that is listed on this map and it'll wipe that grid square out. Um, the troop insertion is six player only. You will let your platoon leader know. Um, that you want to use that kill streak, you will pick a grid square on the map where you want to be dropped. Staff will take you to that grid square and we will drop you off there. Um, so if you wanted to use that and get dropped 100 feet from the enemy team spawn, we're going to let you do that. Um, but it's only based on those kill streaks when you get those, okay? Um, so the, the ammo cans will be worth, the green ones will be worth 1,000 points uh, per each ammo can you guys capture. So on top of that, there's nuke ammo cans, okay? Enemy teams cannot steal the nuke ammo cans, only the mutual green ones. I know this sounds confusing. I will explain this again. Don't get confused. There are nuke ammo cans. There are red and there are teal. If you're green team, your team ammo can is red. If you're tan team, the teal ammo cans are your team ammo cans. Again, you cannot steal each other's ammo cans. Now, again, these ammo cans will have goodies inside them, like X-Fog units, speed loaders, pistols, stuff like that. You have to capture all four to get the points. All these ammo cans, including the five green ones, I forgot to mention this, are locked. So you'll have to bring them back to spawn, and then we staff or ref will unlock them for you, and then you get the goodies inside. But the four team ones, you must capture all four to get the points. It's worth 5,000 points if you capture all four. These, we hid... Fairly well, the last event, I'm not going to hide them quite as um, difficult, difficult, make it as difficult for you guys to find them. Um, but again, they're not going to be just sitting right out in the open for you to easily grab. Um, so I think that goes over that. Again, you guys can read this. Make sure you guys are reading it um, just so you guys know what's going on there. The team colors or team camo. Okay, so the last event, which I, I briefed several times, the first event, which is OP Silent Thunder, which we'll do again next year that is like our entry level mil sim okay so that event is our event every year that is going to be more of an entry level laid back uh chill sim okay so we're not going to be as strict we allow full auto etc um this event and our next event is going to be more along the lines of a more mil sim style leadership style rule oriented game so you guys can see your camos of what you're allowed if you're green team or if you're tan team what camos we allow if there's another camo pattern out there that I don't have listed, but it's typically a green camo, it's fine. If it's typically a tan camo, it's fine. However, if you are playing on the tan team and you show up with, you know, ACUs on, and then you tell me you're going to play you're on green, I'm going to take 200 points off for war crimes every time that I see you. So you're literally just hurting your own team at that point. Um, don't do it. I mean, I don't want to get to the strict point of being like, if you do that and you show up in the wrong color uniform, like, I'm just not letting you play. If I have to, I will get to that point, but I'm trying not to be that way because you guys are spending good money to come to the event. But like, please, please try to pay attention to what team you're signing up for and what your color camo is that you're supposed to be wearing. Don't be that guy. It gets annoying. It pisses people off. Please don't do it. Uh, okay, so basic rules here again. I'm not gonna wear these, I'm not gonna read these word for word, but I'm gonna paraphrase and kind of go down through this. So, all players are required to attend a safety brief. Lottie Dottie, everybody, you have to attend. All players are required to fill out a liability waiver that's our waiver, and it'll be OTP's waiver. You can fill them out online, they're here on the website. You can print them and sign them and bring them. I'll also have copies there. 
if you guys want to sign them there. I don't care, but you're going to have to fill one out. If you are under the age of 18, you need a parent or guardian to sign as well. So if you're under 18, you need a parent or legal guardian to sign this, okay? All players must chrono prior to starting the event. Um, everyone needs to chrono. If you're going to run HPA, we're going to HPA reg lock your, your tank. Um, but everyone needs to chrono. We're going to be spot checking that. We did it last event. We're going to continue to do spot checks and make sure you guys are chronoed. Don't dick around with that. That's the one thing that I'm going to be very hard on. I mean, if you're not, if you're out there and you're playing and you didn't chrono, you're, you're getting booted. Um, so please just make sure you guys are doing that. I know it sucks having to take time to do that, but we're allocating time for it. So please make sure you're getting it done. Minimum age requirement. No one under the age of 13 is to be playing. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, no one under the age of 13 is to be playing. If you're under 18, you need a parent permission slip. We already went over that. Uh, safety word and words, blind man sees fire. So if someone's running, they trip and fall, and they break their arm, blind man sees fire. If someone's goggles break and they fly off, blind man sees fire. Um, if you slip and fall and uh, you know break the tip off of your replica, but you're fine, that's not the time to call blind man or sees fire. Um, so just be aware of that. That's for uh, actual emergencies. Uh, in the safety zone. So basically, if you're not on the playing field and not on the chrono area, you're required to have a barrel bag and you're required to have your magazine out and safety on. We're going to be pounding on this. Last game, we were honestly a little lax with it, but this time around, we're not going to be. Um, so please make sure you have a barrel cover on. If you don't have them, I will have some for sale. Uh, we will be vending at this event, the same as last event. Um, we'll have a good bit of stuff there, but again, I can't carry everything. So you guys show up without a barrel bag and I sell out of them. Yikes. Make sure you got a barrel bag. Um, no binary triggers. We don't allow binary triggers, so don't have one. Um, red dead light and flashlight are required for nighttime gameplay. Again, we sell red dead lights. We sell flashlights. Get them before you get there. If you don't have one, we'll have some for sale. Okay. I'm not going to have 500 of them, so make sure that you guys are getting this stuff beforehand or order it to be picked up at the event. iPro, I'm not going to read this whole thing here. Everyone needs to have on full seal iPro. That needs to be the ANSI uh, rated, okay? Um, if you are under the age of 18, if you're under the age of 18, you need to have face protection. I'm not saying you have to wear a paintball mask, but you need to have something covering your grill. If you're over 18 and you don't want to wear face protection i think that's dumb but they're your teeth and uh you have every right to decide if they get shot out or not uh let's see here i'm not gonna go over manager equipment other than the fact that you do need tourniquets or white ace medical bandages um to be medic backed in you need to provide those i'm not providing them i will have them for sale you can pre-order them to meet at the event, but I'm not providing them. You need to provide tourniquets or ace white medical bandages, two of them. Please make sure you guys are doing that. Uh, player content, no verbal abuse, no name calling, no profanity, no physical contact, no tarring, no stealing, vandalizing, or fighting, no drugs or alcohol, no real firearms or knives, no blind fire. Uh, event field staff have the final say. Pretty standard stuff, you guys. I don't think that's anything crazy. Um, just don't be, you know, don't be a dick. Um, Bang, bang rule. There is no bang, bang rule. Okay. You, you can still give the courtesy bang, bang, but people don't have to take it. Um, so if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. There's no bang, bang rule. Vehicles, no vehicles allowed on the field. This is the RV camper, which I already talked about. Radios. Okay. So we do have radio channels set up for every single platoon. They're listed on our Discord. Okay. Join us on Discord. There's a Discord link at the bottom of this website page here. Go to the bottom of that. Join us on Discord. Show me your ticket, send me your ticket, um, and I will assign you to your platoon. At the top of your platoon talk on your Discord is your platoon radio channel. Um, so if you are interested in that, you want the platoon radio channel, get your ticket. Once you have your ticket, I'll assign you to the platoon, and you'll get your radio channel. Okay, uh, we're getting into the uh, airsoft replica requirements for FPS and Jules. <sighs> I apologize. It's late. I'm tired. Um SMGs. So this is like a real SMG. Like, don't show up with an M4 and be like, this is an SMG. No, it's not. It has to be pistol calipered, chambered a pistol caliper to be an SMG. Okay. One jewel is your limit. With and we you're chronoing with our BBs. We had some confusion last time. 
When you go to chrono, you don't need your BBs. You're currently with our BBs. They're 0.32s. After chrono, I don't care what you use. I don't care. Whatever. When you come to chrono, you're chronoing with our BBs. They're 0.32s. We provide them. You don't need them for chrono. I gotcha. Here for you. Um, it's 260 FPS or one jewel with 0.32s. This is a, a mid cap magazine only game um, for all replicas other than LMG. You have no minimum engagement distance and you can shoot full auto. This is the only class outside of LMG that can shoot full auto. And your cap is 25 rounds per second. Now, again, like last event, if you're real close to that, I'm not going to be like, no, go. But if you, I'm saying 25 rounds per second, you show up shooting 40. Yeah, that's a no, go. Uh, getting into the Rifleman's, same as last time, 1.55 joules or 324 FPS. Mid cap magazines only. Semi-auto only. There will be no full auto if you're running Rifleman. You do not have to be semi-locked. But there will be no full auto for riflemen. You are semi-auto only during throughout the duration of the event for riflemen. Support weapons, it's going to be the same 1.86 joules. You may fire up to 30 rounds per second. You are allowed full auto, but you have to shoot at a 50-foot minimum engagement distance. You can't shoot closer than 50 feet. Uh, DMR um, is 2.03 joules. Uh, I'm sorry, my... my that's in the weird train of thought there. 2.03 uh, joules, same as last time. This is semi-auto only, mid-cap only, and you have a 100-foot minimum engagement distance. So 100-foot minimum engage engagement distance and mid-cap only, semi-auto only. Snipers, you have a 2.5 joule FPS limit. So we did this at 2.32 last, last event. Um, I got some requests to bump it up a little bit for snipers, so we did. So now it's 2.5 joules or 410 FPS. This is bolt action only. So no semi-auto, none of that bolt action or single action shot only. Your minimum engagement distance is 100 feet. Okay, You guys can read everything in here. Like I said, I'm just paraphrasing. This goes into a lot of other things like breaking the plane of a window and things like that. Make sure you guys are reading it. Uh, magazines. So basically, Rifleman, SMG, and DMR. Your mid cap only. Excuse me. LMGs, of course, can use box mags. I don't care. And sniper rifles. You are bolt action or single action only. Uh, BBs only. Biodegradable BBs can be used. Again, I don't care what weight you use. If you're using point twos or point fours, I, I don't care. You can use whatever. But when you come up to Chrono, we're providing the point three twos. Okay. Uh, and again, just a little note here. We will have BBs. We've got Elite Force. We've got HPA BBs. I carry 0.2s to 0.36s. So if you want one of those weights, I'll have them there. Once I sell out, I sell out though. So just be aware of that. Uh, so the pyro. So the big rule here on this one, again, this isn't something I'm doing and it's not even something OTP is doing. It's a township ordinance. No pyro can be used after 2100. That's 9 p.m. So from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., throw all the pyro you want. Let them fly. Yeet. After 9 p.m., the pyro is done. Okay? It's Like I said, it sucks. I, I don't like it any more than anyone else, but it is a township ordinance. We don't want the cops to show up. Um, so no pyro after 9 p.m. 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., let them fly. After 9 p.m., we're done. Tagging products are allowed. You do have to have a PTOP certification. If you don't know what a PTOP certification is, look it up. It takes about 20 minutes to take the test. Once you pass the test, you'll get an email with a PTOP cert. If you're not throwing tagging products, then you don't need this. Okay, so don't worry about it. So the grenade rules, Anola Gaze, Thunder Bees, all those are good. Only Anola Gaze can be used inside of structures. And the only reason I'm saying that because Thunder Bees and taggings are loud, extremely loud, and extremely loud inside of buildings. Um, so the Enola Gay P grenades are the only ones allowed. We will be selling the EG67 grenades. You can also pre-order them. So if you want to buy a case of 50 uh, to meet you there, order it on our website. I'll make sure I got the case there for you. Um, grenades have a 15 kill uh, radius outdoors. I know that seems pretty large compared to most events, but here's the thing. People spend lots of money for these grenades. The EG67s are $10. You get into some of the, you know, tag ends, you're talking $130, $140 for like a 12 pack. Okay. They're expensive. So if they're within 15 feet of you, call yourself out. If you're questioning if you're out or not, you're probably out. Just call yourself. Um, if you're indoors, it's a 30 by 30 space. The only thing that saves you is hardcover. 
please don't tell me that a skinny tree that covers half your body is hard covering. I'm, you're not hit. You're hit. Now, if you're behind a big rock that covers your whole body, we're good. If you're behind a, a brick wall or whatever, a plywood wall, we're, you're good. Um, skinny trees, that's a no. Uh, smoke grenades. The only smoke grenades we're allowing is battle smoke grenades. That's it. I don't want to see no gay grenades out there at all. They're not authorized. If you want to throw smoke, totally fine, up to 9 p.m. After 9 p.m., no smoke, but only battle game smoke is allowed. Again, you can pre-order on our website. You can buy a whole case. Whatever you guys want to do, I will have it there for you to pick up. I'll also be selling uh, sports smoke while we're there. Um, so if you need it, go ahead and grab some. But like I said, once I'm out, I'm out. Um, hit rules. Uh, basically, you guys... You're hit anywhere on your person, you're out. If it's a ricochet, it doesn't count. If it's a gun hit, just yell gun hit. Um, but other than that, if you're hit on your person, anywhere on your person, a backpack that you have physically on you, you're hit. Um, once you're hit, yell hit. Um, during the daytime, please pull out a red dead rag. At night, you need to turn on your red dead light. Um, dead men tell no tales. Once you're hit, you do nothing but call for a medic. Um, so medic rules. So... I think this went pretty good. We might change it up for our last event here in September. I know some people have asked me about that rules list already, and I technically haven't put it out yet. I will soon because I want to get through this game here and then kind of hone in on whatever changes we need to make the last event of this year um, a banger. So medic rules were doing the same as last time. Everyone's a medic. You can't revive yourself. You, can't re you cannot revive yourself. You had to be revived by another person. But everyone's their own medic. You have three lives, two tourniquets. So you get hit once, put on one tourniquet, hit a second time, put on your second tourniquet, hit a third time, you go back to spawn. Uh, bleed out rules. If no one can deal with you within five minutes, go back to spawn. Um, if there's a firefight going on and you're in the line of fire, you can move up to five feet away. Past that, just make the walk um, at that point. Uh, don't spawn camp. Uh, try not to. Uh, okay, play area. Uh, it's going to be pretty clearly marked. Um, OTP staff will be marking the field out on Friday um, to make sure that the boundaries are clearly marked for everybody. If you're questioning it, don't go. Uh, you know, don't climb ladders. Don't go on roofs. Don't enter taped off areas. Don't block objects. Don't leave trash everywhere. Pick up after yourselves. Um, and don't bring any unauthorized gear or equipment. And then the war crimes, which I talked about briefly in the beginning with the uniforms. If you're caught cheating anyway, uh, basically, I'm taking 200 points off every time I catch you. Um, you know, so if you're wearing again like the wrong camo for your team, and I see you five times that day, I'm taking a thousand points off your team. Um, so, I mean, if you want to be that guy, I, I mean, I don't be, but if you are that guy, that's what's going to happen. So, these are some smaller event maps. Here's the big one. Again, we sell dead rags um, with this map on the back of the dead rag. If you attended OP Sonic Thunder, you know what I'm talking about. But we will have those again for this map. So basically, green team is, spawn is spawning up here. Uh, tan team is spawning back here in the back. The uh, parking area, if I'm not mistaken, is right over here. I could be wrong on that. Yikes. I think it's somewhere right over here. Um, but here's the layout of the field. So your objectives are these yellow markings. So those are going to be your five objectives. And then anything inside of the yellow is in play. So this whole area... All these little maps in through here, everything inside of here is in play, okay? The ammo cans that we discussed can be anywhere inside of the play area, okay? The ammo cans doesn't, because there's a marking here, doesn't mean the ammo cans are there too. If they're not, they can be anywhere, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, again, you guys, if you want to do our waiver, this is ours. You can download it. You can print it right here. You can do the same thing for OTP. Right here is theirs if you want to do that here. And then here is our Discord group. We've got about, I don't know, 100 people in there so far. Um, it's a great place to talk about the events. I also do like weekend deals in the Discord like for items and replicas. So if it's something you guys are looking to do different things and check out some of the stuff that we do like as a company outside of these events, it's a really great way to do that. Um, I, you know, I talk to people all day long. I get messages all day long and it's, it's uh, you know, it's a pretty good place to be uh, very, very friendly. So check that out. But other than that, you guys, that's all I have. Um, if you have any questions, again, email, social media, call me, uh, whatever you guys want to do on that. I will definitely want to help you guys out. Um, of course, the day of, come up and see me. Um, anyone who attended the last event know I run around like a madman. Um, but 
I will do my best to answer any questions that anybody has. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you out there. Thanks.